Felnica asks, what about sharks and snakes who give live births? Followed by Jean Pozniak, who says, first thing I thought of was egg-eating predator pressure. Probably both. The video was about the origin of pregnancy, the loss of egg laying in reptiles. And what we learned from the video is that cold climates add a selection pressure for natural selection to start favoring anyone who's doing live birth. So live birth evolves when the climate is cool. The question there is, well, what about sharks? Or, or did they evolve? There are some shark species that give live birth, not all of them. Yeah, there are certainly sharks that lay eggs, but there are some that give live birth. And then they also mentioned snakes there. There are some snakes that give live birth. For the snakes, we actually do think that it is cold climates that causes the evolution of live birth in snakes and, and the lineages that do live birth. In the ocean, things are different. The main trouble in the ocean is that it's very hard to hide an egg in the ocean. It's actually pretty easy to hide an egg on land. Very difficult in the ocean because of smells travel so far. And it's very difficult to completely mask the scent of something like an egg. So lots of animals do it. You know, they, they hide them in very uh, hard to get places. They lay their eggs underwater, like octopus, you'll, you'll see that the mother will guard the eggs after they're laid. But it's very difficult. So we think that the main selection pressure in the ocean is egg predators. On land, because it's so hard, or because it's so easy to hide an egg, we actually think the main... Uh, the predators are a very small part of the selection pressure for the evolution of live birth. It's mostly just that climate that does it. And it, it, it kind of makes sense also when you think about moving around with eggs inside your belly. That's difficult for a land animal. It's not so difficult for a shark. A shark can swim almost as well full of eggs or full of, you know, developing embryos as it would without them. But on land, it becomes very cumbersome when you're pregnant to move around. So I think that's probably why the predation on land isn't such a big deal but climate is, whereas predation in the ocean is a very big deal. You really have to find a way to hide those eggs.